This is Akashvani, the news read by Narang Koyan. Senior BJP leader and Union Home Minister Amit Shah today assured the restoration of statehood to Jammu and Kashmir after the Assembly polls. Addressing a public meeting in Jammu, he said the coming Assembly elections in Jammu and Kashmir are historic as it is taking place for the first time under the national flag and the constitution following the abrogation of Article 370 by the Modi government. Mr. Shah also accused the Congress National Conference Alliance of making attempts to revive the old system. He said NDA government will not allow the revival of terrorism, autonomy and injustice with any community including Gujars, Pahari, Bakarwals and Dalits who were granted reservation by the BJP dispensation. The Home Minister is in Jammu on a two-day visit to boost the BJP's election campaign for the three-pace assembly elections beginning September 18. In Manipur, gunfight has been taking place at different places since early morning and six persons have been killed and many injured. Later, gunfight took place in Nang Chepi area under Jiribam police station between two groups. In the gunfight, four persons including three suspected militants were killed. The gunfight is taking place at Tangjang, Kunjau in Kalching district and two persons sustained bullet injuries. They were hospitalized. It may be mentioned that a civilian was killed and five injured when a local made rocket bomb blast in Moirang town. Later in the night, a large number of people gathered out two Manipur rifles battalions situated at different places and tried to loot arms and ammunitions. However, security forces controlled the situation and dispersed the public. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that teachers are rendering a very important service to the nation and the responsibility of preparing today's youth for Vixit Bharat rests in their hands. Interacting with teachers who were conferred with the National Teachers Awards in New Delhi at his residence yesterday, Mr. Modi emphasized that we all should make efforts to prepare capable citizens and youth for Vixit Bharat. The Prime Minister said that teachers can take their students on educational tours to explore India's diversity, which will aid their learning and also help them get to know about the country in a holistic manner. He added that this will boost tourism and give a fillip to the local economy as well. The Prime Minister also asked the teachers to appraise their students about the ongoing Dehu Apnantej People's Choice Contest so they can participate in it after a proper study. Around 1 crore and 37 lakh activities have been conducted as part of the ongoing 7th Rashtra Portion Ma so far. The Portion Ma, which began on 1st of September, will continue till 30th of this month. The one-month campaign, which was launched from Gujarat, focuses on key themes including anemia, growth monitoring, complementary feeding, and portion B, parai B, along with technology for better governance across the nation. The campaign also emphasizes environmental sustainability through Ek Per Ma Ke Naam, initiative in which plantation is encouraged across all the operational 13.95 lakh Anganwadi centers. The Telangana government has announced 29 out of 33 districts in the state as flood, his, flood hit districts. The state government has also announced the assistance of 3 crore rupees for each of these districts to carry out immediate relief works. Earlier, four districts were declared as flood hit and relief works were being carried out there. The festival of Ganesh Chaturthi is being celebrated today across the country with great devotion. The day marks the birth of Lord Ganesha, who is a symbol of wisdom, prosperity and good fortune. People place clay idols of Lord Ganesha in their home and worship them during the 10-day-long festival. President Durputi Murmu, Vice President Jagdeep Dankar and Prime Minister Narendra Modi have greeted the people on the occasion. In the Chhatrapati Sambhaji Nagar, district of Maharashtra, women from self-help groups have set up Ganpati idol stalls at 175 locations. These stalls have achieved a turnover of 1 crore rupees. The Press Information Bureau Fact check unit was warned against a fraudulent website seeking personal details by impersonating as the official BSNL website. The fact check unit said that the fake website bsntowerindia.com is deceitfully inviting application for installation of 5G tower. The PIB noted the web address is not associated with BSNL and has cautioned people from sharing the personal details on such suspicious websites. The official website of BSNL is bsnl.co.in. Minister of State for Skill Development and Entrepreneurship Jayant Chaudhary today signed a memorandum of understanding with a private food aggregator for partnership in logistic and upskilling.
दैट्स ऑल इन दिस न्यूज़ बुलेटिन नमस्कार